I thought about ways that we could help Rockaway, or I could help Rockaway, and I was talking to friends about going out, picking up shovels, and it hit me that I had, that this is the best way that I could give back. Well, people are coming in with bags and bags of photos that have been completely destroyed. Some are from the 1960s, 70s, um, some are more recent, pretty much all of them. Um, they, they have a similar look to them, where the edges are completely bent out of shape and the photos are now curling up. They've uh, had a lot of water damage and we have to flatten down these images in our scanner to make sure they're well pressed so everything is scanned properly. And there's a lot of faces missing in these photos, which is quite sad. So we're hoping we can take faces from other photos and have the retouchers do their magic and bring them back to life. The infant that you see, the daughter had actually gone to the parents' home thinking that her photos would be safe in the attic before the storm, thinking the water is never going to reach the rafters of, of the ceiling, and then of course, you know, the ter terrible neighborhood fires and their home is gone. We've seen a variety of damage and I'm sure it will, uh, we'll continue to see different types. Um, obviously we have the ash from the fire and we have burn marks. There are going to be a lot that we see that, that have uh, bacteria growth with, with mold. Uh, typically, you, it, within 48 hours, you really need to get your photos out of the plastic sleeves and away from the glass. Uh, the moisture um, can destroy the photos and the emulsion on the photos. Something uh, that the public might not realize is just how time intensive the restoration process is. We, we tend to press the enter key or if, if you're a designer you, you use the code command Z and that instantaneously dissolves or obliterates what's ever on the screen but there is no command Z <laughs> for um, you know just something so extreme so one photograph might take an hour another might actually take days. The storm made landfall at like seven o'clock and high tide was at nine o'clock so like by 9.30 <laughs> the water was just rushing into the basement. And since my bedroom was down there, we kind of like ran into the basement to just grab whatever we could. And I was like grabbing my books and clothes and things. And so this stuff that was in a box in the closet kind of fell by the wayside. So <clears throat> whatever we can do at this point would be great. You know, it was kind of like you'll have all your family photos all the time and you always say you're going to do something with them or you have these albums that you pulled out of your grandma's basement when she died or whatever. And then they go into your basement for a while and then this happens, so you don't really know what to do. The photos are from the basement of our house, uh, 121st Street. The events that they represent are kind of a smattering across the last century or so. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of New York in here, I guess you could say. <laughs>